Hi everybody. Thank you for visiting my channel. I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. Uh, today's project, it's one of those pieces I picked up a couple weeks ago, delivered to my house from a friend, cut the tree. This thing, it is a rainbow eucalyptus crotch. Uh, of course, the bark is gone. And yes, it is eucalyptus. I'm not mistaken, it comes from Philippines and in that area. Uh, you could look it up, it's called Rainbow Eucalyptus. The bark on it's supposed to have so many colors, which is this one it did, but this one has been raised in California. So it really doesn't have the colors where it's originally in Jindis from where it comes from. If you look it up, you could see it. They call it a rainbow eucalyptus for a reason because the bark has all these colors of rainbow pretty much. But I've been told that's what you see inside of it. That burgundy brownish color. It's a really, it's not showing it right now, but you will see. So, we're gonna start on this. Let me get everything ready, put my uh, mask and face shield and all that, and we get to start later. Sanding up to 400. Time to clean it with energy alcohol, and I'm gonna sand and seal and leave it until tomorrow. It's getting late, and I want to see. So I want to see what happened tomorrow. I was gonna change or crack or. I'll try to fill up uh, or, uh, you know, support these guys with teenager alcohol. Uh, and then after that, I put, uh, cleaned it really good, waited for it to dry. And then I put uh, uh, glue in there, Sarvon, uh, thin, so it could absorb and filled up some of the cracks. So we'll see. That's that. And I'm gonna put uh, uh, a sand and sealer, Kiku oil, sand and sealer, and teenage alcohol. All three mix in this. But it'll go slow. I just want you guys to see what it look like on close-up. I love this part, it's coming up. I think it has a burr between the crotch. There they are. That is just gorgeous. Well, until tomorrow. Later. Good morning, everybody. I left it overnight and it did create a few cracks here and there, a small one just 
air extractor opened up. Uh, I'm gonna hollow it anyway and see what happens. Let's see how fast we could get it. About 700 right now. continue I'll try to drop this down a little bit about here and going in a little bit there about maybe middle or so when or two middle we have to pick up sand inside, put a sand and sealer and put some and bring this here that way I get a support because I'm trying to do it thinner than that but from outside because I know it's going to move but let me do this first I'm going to do quick sanding and stuff and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done hi everybody <clears throat> as you see I Finish the inside. I'm gonna clean it for tinted alcohol right now. So I could uh, do the outside and then call it done. Good for now. What I'm gonna do outside now. So I'm just gonna let it dry for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna work on the outside. Hi, hey, everybody. Let's see. Hopefully, it's gonna dry. 
As you see, I'm getting ready to clean it with vinegar alcohol the outside wall. Since I got to mess with it and make it thinner, so I have to sand down, sand it down from 80 to 400 again. But it came out better than earlier, so it's okay. I don't mind it. Hi everybody, uh, as you see I finished sanding uh, in and out both uh, uh, both sides uh, from 80 to 400 so uh, and I put a sand sealer on and had some dinner made dinner had some dinner so now I'm gonna put the uh, sand and polish on it and and I'll be shine juice and all that good stuff and then we I have to flip it and remove the duct tail back. But I gotta do all that before. I flip it. Because... Everybody, I'm gonna put the Mahoney's. Uh, Finisher, ball finisher. Uh, it's been 30 minutes. Uh, this thing is dry, but I don't want to put a fingerprint on it. So I'm going to grab with a pit towel right now because I'm just going to take it off quick and flip it. So I just have to remove this. It doesn't have weight in it at all. I still have the, ah, the guys here, not, there is a little mark still here from earlier when I had it holding. So I just have to put it back there again. All right, so I basically gonna clean up this part here um, because this crack originally was long and I noticed it. That's why I didn't go deep here because I knew I was gonna take some of the base. So let me do that and still get ready to do all the sanding and stuff after. So let me get ready. I'll bring you guys back in a minute. Hi everybody. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Have some kind of finale, right? That looks good. So I'm gonna sand this. I'm gonna remove that little mud. Well, make it smaller. All right, uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna rush it, so while my uh, stamp warming up, I polish it and all that in here. So I got a nice sheen here in the bottom before I remove it, because when I remove it and uh, take out that little nub, 
there will be no way I could hold it and do what I need to do with the speed. So I'll bring you guys back in Petty. Yeah. And there it is. I burned my stamp and removed that little nub. <coughs> Sand the bottom. I think I have some tissue. I don't want to put no fingerprint on it. That's the bottom. I hope you'll like it. You do, thumbs up, you don't, thumbs down, you know the routine. I do appreciate you guys visiting my channel. And don't forget to ring that bell. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. It doesn't cost you nothing. I do many different turning segmented resin then as you see again thank you for visiting my channel god bless have a great day peace